You're here because you want to look at scan data for ignition systems. Different GM models have different pieces of scan data. Set up your scan tool for data that pertains to the ignition system. In this example, you can see we hit a 3x, an 18x, and a cam signal. How did we know to do that? We used a vehicle-specific wiring diagram that showed us there is an 18x, a 3x, and a cam signal. We did not try to work from memory. Always use vehicle-specific information in, in wiring diagrams. After the screen is set up, do a quick data review with the engine off. Engine speed should be zero. If it isn't, go test the PCM. Anytime the PCM doesn't seem to be logical, example showing RPM when the engine is off, you need to test it. If spark advance is not zero, test a PCM. The ignition one signal should be above 12.1 volts. If it isn't, go to ignition fuel control and PCM test. Now remember that the battery has to be above 12.1 volts for this signal to be above 12.1 volts. So if you have a charging or battery problem, you should have already fixed that. Ignition mode should be bypass. If not, test a PCM. The 3x signal should be zero. If it isn't, go to ignition fuel control test. The 18x signal should be zero. If not, go to ignition fuel control test and PCM test. Cam sensor signal should be no. If it isn't, go to ignition fuel control test and PCM test. Knock retard should be zero. If not, test the PCM. Now watch the same data as the engine is being cranked. Engine speed should show engine RPM. If it doesn't, go to ignition fuel control test and the PCM test. Spark advance should show a small amount of ignition advance. What's a small amount? Anything under 20 degrees. If spark advance shows nothing, go to ignition fuel control test and PCM test. The ignition one signal will drop to a normal cranking voltage. If it drops too much, go to ignition fuel control testing and PCM test and don't forget that the battery and the charging system have to be in good condition. The ignition mode should remain in bypass when the RPM is under 400. If not, go test the PCM. The 3x signal should show RPM. Because of signal averaging, the readings may not agree with other RPM signals. The 18x, the 3x, and engine speed don't necessarily have to agree. If the 3X doesn't show RPM, go to Ignition Fuel Control Test. The 18X should show RPM. If it doesn't, go to Ignition Fuel Control Test. Cam Sensor Signal will indicate no until the engine is cranked a few seconds. After that, the state changes to yes. If not, go to Ignition Fuel Control Test. Vehicle speed should be zero. If not, go test a PCM. Knock retard should be zero. If not, go test a PCM. Next, watch the data at warm idle. After 400 RPM, the ignition mode changes from bypass to IC. How do we know that? Because we used vehicle-specific information and the key facts it told us. The PCM times the spark over 400 RPM. So we knew that it should change to IC after 400 RPM. After the engine starts, the ignition one signal should show normal charging system voltage. If it doesn't, go test the PCM. And don't forget that the charging system has to be good. After the engine starts, you'll see spark advance begin to make changes. This indicates that the PCM is in fact controlling timing. Next road test the vehicle. As the vehicle is driven, you'll see that the chain you'll see changes in spark advance, engine speed, the 3x signal, the 18x speed signal, and vehicle speed. This is normal. Special note here, the 18x signal on this vehicle stops here at 1618, 1618 RPM, yes. The 18x is used for low speed only on this vehicle. Notice as the engine speed increases, so does the 3x speed, 
but the 18x does not increase past a predetermined RPM. It's used for low speed only. Once again, we know this from vehicle specific information. Notice that the vehicle is driven and comes to a stop. The spark advance will, will remain high and it'll be higher than it was when the vehicle was at idle for several minutes. This is normal. If the spark remains high all the time after several minutes or so, go test the PCM. Don't expect the engine speeds, the 3x, the 18x speed to match. This is a reminder. They won't match because of different factors. The PCM updates, uh, the update rate to the scan tool will be different. The refresh rate of the scan tool screen will be different. So once again, don't expect them to match.